Crown Champion. We're back today in the studios with two extremely capable, talented and bright young students of extremely closely matched schools and I can't wait to introduce them to you. Well, that's right. Together with Trishma and Joel Outskun. Well, just like Trishma mentioned, today is going to be a match filled with a lot of excitement. We say this because it's not two boys' schools, it's not two girls' schools, but it's a boys' school and a girls' school, which means it's going to be a lot of excitement filled with fun. Well, this is the platform that we bring to you where you can share your knowledge and your experiences and also unforgettable memories are taken away by each of the competitors here at Pentathlon. With that being said, it's right about time for us to kickstart today's proceedings. Well, that is by introducing our two teams. Yes, indeed. Coming up first, let's invite the boys to come on stage. We have with us the boys from Isipatana College, Colombo. Well, the boys team is on stage. It's now time for us to find out who the opponents are. Let's give it up for Sangamita Balika Vidyalaya Gol. S-A-N-G-H-A-M-I-T-T-S Sangamita! Well, the two teams have taken their places on stage, ready to face each other in an extremely interesting and challenging match. Let's find out how the captains have been preparing themselves for this very, very interesting game. Let's go to Shuheb from Isipatana College. How have you been gearing up for the match? Well, we have practiced, uh, practiced quite hard. I have my good team, so we hope to give a good challenge for our opposing team. All right, let's hope so. Let's put our hands together for Isipatana College. Well, the boys say that they are ready to give a good game to their opponents. Lumini, the captain from the opposing team, how would you like to react to that statement made by the we strong opponents in Sipatana College? We have been practicing quite hard and we'll hope to do our best and give a tough competition to them. A tough competition? So you and I are both waiting to see how very well this tough competition We'll get along. But before that, it's right about time that we get our elite panel of judges introduced to you who have a very tough and tedious task to do here at Pentathlon. Without much further ado, let's give it up for our first judge, Mr. Samantha Dasanayake, English medium, advanced level teacher, attorney at law. Also joined on the panel is Mrs. Amioma Damianti, working with bilingual team, Ministry of Education. Well, as always, we get things kick-started here on Pentathlon with the tossing of the coin to decide which one of the two teams will be going first in each of the rounds. So now let's invite both the captains to please join us forward and one of the judges as well to supervise the tossing of the coin. So we got Shweb and Lumini from high school representing the captains and also we have our judge and I got the toss in my hand. So we need to find out who will be going ahead with what selection. So let's give it up for the girls first. So you'll be going with Pentathlon or is it going to be TV1? Pentathlon. Pentathlon is what you select, which means you'll definitely have to go with TV1. TV1. So are we ready? Yes, we are ready. So here you go. Just there around the corner, TV1. We would like to give the chance to our opponent uh, school to go on first. The boys have given it to the girls, just like true gentlemen to go ahead with each round first. Are you ready for it? Yes, we are ready and we'll accept the challenge. Challenge accepted. So shall we shake hands and kickstart today's games. <laughs> well, Isipatana College, Colombo won the toss, but however, they decided that their strong opponents, the girls all the way from Gaul, would be going ahead with each match. Well, that's how the game goes ahead, but we believe it's going to be a good start and the pitch is set. It's time for us to commence those very five exciting rounds. So without much further ado, shall we go in with the first round, which is called Balance. Your quiz. Well, in our very first round, which is Balance Your Quiz, each of our teams gets to select three core players. And these players have a challenge before them, which is to answer five questions within a span of 30 seconds 
while balancing a table tennis ball on a table tennis bat. Of course, if they do drop the ball at any point, they will be disqualified from getting further questions. Each correct question answered is going to give them 5 points. However, if they answer the fifth question correctly, they will get 10 points. Well, those are the rules and regulations. Well, the rules and regulations are set for round one, which means it's time for us to shift our attention towards the girls and ask them. I would like to ask Illumini, who are your three core players who will be coming in for first round? Sahanya, Muttuli and myself. Okay, and who will be coming in first? I am coming. The captain steps forward first. Let's give it up to her. Here you go. This is what you got to play with and then also with the mind game. So we got 30 seconds on the clock and your time starts in 3, 2, 1. The Age is a newspaper published in which country? USA. Wrong, Australia. Who wrote the novel Little House on the Prairie? Mm, Louise M. Alcott. Wrong, it's Laura Wilder. Name the current Prime Minister of Singapore. Pass. It's Lee Jiang Yung. What is the second largest city in France by population? Paris. Wrong, it's Marseille or Lyon. Which batsman has scored second most runs in a test innings for Sri Lanka? Save that bit, Your time is up. The answer is Sanath Jayasurya. Right, so let's shift our attention to the boys from Missy Patana College. I would like to ask the captain who are your three core players to come forward. It's going to be Kitiwe, Bidat, and myself. And who's coming in first? I'm. The captain faces off with the captain of the opponents. Come forward. Let's see how well he takes part. We got 30 seconds on the clock and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. The Sun is a newspaper published in which oh, country? Oh, oh, what, what, what happened there? It's a disqualification. It's a disqualification. You can't touch the ball with your hand. Very sorry. You're disqualified. Not even one question posed, but you were not able to. That's how the game goes. Better luck in the next round. But let's see how well the game continues. Once again, shifting our attention towards the girls. Who is coming in? Sahanya will be coming. Sahanya, come down. <laughs> Sahanya, the opponents, the first chance, it was a disqualification. You think it would be better for you? Uh, no, I so feel sorry for them, but uh, we hope you this. We feel sorry for them, but let's hope for the best. There you go. You got 30 seconds on the clock and your time starts in 3, 2, 1. Go. Who wrote the novel Anna Karenina? Anton Chekhov. Wrong. It's Leo Tolstoy. Which country has the highest mortality rate in the world? Switzerland. Wrong. It's Lesotho. What is the longest river in Germany? Danube. Wrong. It's Rhine. What is the capital of Karnataka? Pass. It's Bangalore. Which world famous magazine annually ranks the world's richest companies? Pass. It's Fortune. Your questions are up. Okay, let's shift our attention once again to the boys. Captain, who's coming in forward? It's going to be with that. Calm down, with that. Are you the game changer? I think I am. You think you are? Okay, you've got 30 seconds to prove that. And your time starts in three, two, one, go. Who wrote the play Midsummer's Night's Dream? Pass. It's William Shakespeare. Which country has the lowest mortality rate in the world? Zimbabwe. Wrong, it's Qatar. What is the longest river of Iraq? Tigris. Wrong, it's Euphrates. What is the capital of Tamil Nadu? Pass. It's Chennai. What world-famous magazine annually ranks the world's richest people? Your time is up. The answer is Forbes. Let's move on to the final player from Sangamitta. Who is coming in? Mutili will be coming next. Calm down. Okay. So your time is set at 30 seconds and it starts in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go. According to KOF Globalization Index, which is the most globalized country in the world? Switzerland. Wrong, it's Netherlands. Who first invented the antibiotic streptomycin? Alexander Fleming. Wrong, it's Salman Walkman. Who coached Mumbai Indians to IPL Championship last year? 
pass. It's Mahela Jayawardena. What is the longest river in Japan? Pass. It's Shinano. Your time is up. No answers given out there as well. Let's move on to Isipatana College. Captain, who is the final to take part in the first round? It's going to be Titiwe. Come down. Go for that game changer. You got 30 seconds. Your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Who is the current captain of the Bangladesh national cricket team? Pass. It's Shakib Al Hassan. Who first invented the thermo flask? Pass. It's James Dever. Which country uses the most percentage of recycled water? Germany. Wrong, it's Israel. What is the longest river in Indonesia? Pass. It's Kapuas. What is the capital of West Bengal? Pass. It's Kolkata. The questions are up. So that's how the first round comes to an end. It could be no marks, it could be minus points, it could be plus points. No one knows, we don't know, we need to find out and you need to know what the points are. Well, keep it tuned because we got some amazing talent coming up on this very platform. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Welcome back. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2 and we just concluded the very first round right here on an exciting match between Isipatana College as well as the Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya Gaul. It's now time for us to find out what the results are at the end of the very first round. We have Isipatana College at the end of round one scoring themselves unfortunately zero points and Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya Gaul also scoring themselves Zero points. So at the end of round one, the point score as of now is zero. A zero on both teams. Quite unfortunate to even read it out. But I think the teams are motivated after this commercial break to bring that difference on stage because the next game is going to be something very interesting where you show out your creativity, your talent and all that. There's no answering to do, so it's a game changer because you can score by performing that best act on this very stage within the given limited amount of time. Are you all ready teams? Are you ready? Okay, both teams are ready, so without much further ado, let's get on to round two, which is Express to Impress. Well, Express to Impress, which is our round two, is going to be a really fun round because each of the teams gets to unleash their creativity on stage. We will give them a story lead and they have to then act out the rest of the story using their imagination and acting skills. Of course, the points for this round will be judged by the panel of judges from the Ministry of Education. So let's get started by finding out what is the topic that the girls from Gaul pick for themselves. Here is the topic. Neil loves to travel and was so fond of forests. Whenever he plans a holiday, he would choose a place that is blessed by Mother Nature. To celebrate his son's second birthday, he decided to stay and enjoy the celebration in the woods, located at the lap of a mountain. He and his family and friends reached the village located near the woods and had his stay in the cottage. The cottage was located at the entrance of a dense forest where the guests can view animals roaming nearby. And then... And then what happens? Well, it is going to be a little birthday party on this very platform. Hope you all do justice and also cut that little cake and let's see how well they put their creativity within the span of given time. Are you all ready? Sangamitta uh, all the way from Goal is ready and your time starts now. Hey Neil, what do you think about this? It's perfect. John, look up like that. Please, keep it here. Oh, they are coming. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go. Okay, dear, you did it well. Oh, Good my girl. birthday, my birthday. Okay. Surprise! Happy birthday, John. Thank you, Mom, Dad. Oh, I'll trade you. 
I wonder, there's a birthday party. Mmm, yum. Yeah, yeah, I like this. Knife. Okay, cut. No, cut. Mom! Mom! Yum, the cake! Monkey! 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 Come on, John. Come, come, come. Mama, my God. Okay, dear, don't cry. Okay. Don't worry. Oh, we'll have a new cake for you. A it's beautiful a, cake. It's a good experience for us. Uh -huh. You celebrate your birthday with animals. You gave it to the uh, monkey. It's a good experience uh -huh. for you. Wow. Sharing and caring is the most important thing in the life. Uh -huh. Do not cry. I will I Okay, you can order a new cake. I'll celebrate it later. I ordered it. Okay, then you have a new cake. Later. Okay. Okay. okay, are you happy? Yeah. Yeah. It's, then, do you learn, it, learn something yeah, from yeah, this? Yeah. Sharing and caring is the most important thing, huh? Okay, ma. Okay. Then, are you happy? Yeah, wild animals are included too. Well, Sangamita Balika Vidyale was able to put up a very good performance, I would say. And also, the captain, marvelous. Good act out there. But, okay, can you feed the one from the wild cake? Can you ask for some cake? Okay? Right, let's do a small birthday affair. You all sing happy birthday? Right, okay, let's start. Sing happy birthday. You have to do the monkey dance and he ask for cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear to me. Happy birthday to you. Well, thank you very much. And also, that was a little bit of us to get a little bit of laughter out there. Very well played. Thank you very much. With that, it's time for us to see how well the opposing team, the strong boys from Colombo Isipatana College, let's find out what, what they pick out. This is the topic for Isipatana College, Colombo. It was the vacation time and Joe was eagerly awaiting the arrival of his grandchildren. He was preparing his home for the kids, cleaning the home, mowing the garden, rearranging the household items, buying the favourite foods, dresses for the children, etc. In all of the busy arrangements, he lost his favourite watch. And then... Well, he has lost his favourite watch. And we would like to find out how well the boys put up that performance and give it out their very best. So you've got a limited amount of time. Make sure time management is of utmost importance. You've got two minutes on the clock and your time starts now. Hey, what's all the rush out cleaning? Why, why don't you know? Our jaw uncle, uh, our master jaws, our master jaws grandsons are coming today. Really? Yeah. I have seen, I have never seen them from recently. Yeah, me too. Uh, they haven't visited here for a long time. Yeah. Quickly, quickly, clean quickly. Quickly, quickly. They are on the way, quickly. Where is my wristwatch? It was here a while ago. Where is it now? If it is not here, someone of them has to it. Who took my watch? I didn't take it. What watch? Don't lie. Shut up! Who took my watch? Master, no. ma master, what I, what, what, what was you are Shut up! But sir, after my grandson come, I will punish you, I will punish you all definitely. Wait! Sir, sir, just tell what, why you are blaming us. Shut up! Get out of here! That might be my grandson. Oh, sorry sir, uh, you have a telegram. 
can you sign this please? You know, that vehicle has stolen my watch, wrist watch. <laughs> That's very expensive. S my sir, grandson sir, gave it. Uh, Shut up! Uh, what's this? Sir, excuse me, sir. Shh. What? Tell him oh my god. Wrist watch, it's here. Sir, now, just now, g g give us Sorry one week to talk. You all are the ones who are with me. Sorry, boys. So the boys from Isipatana College too were able to display their talents on this stage but I'm wondering whether you were able to finish the entire act within the given two minutes. Were you? Not very much? But what was it going to be? What was the end like? Uh, the postman went to give the motor. You found your watch finally? Yeah. It was in your pocket? Okay, right. So that is how they express themselves to impress all of us. With that, we need to find out the results which we will not be reading out but it is our elite panel of judges who will be reading out the results. Let's shift to the panel of judges for their decision. We have three criteria: creativity, content and presentation. And considering all the facts given to us, uh, these are the marks we have given to both teams. Isipatana College has scored 65 marks and Sangamita College Girl has scored 70 marks. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Damayanti, for reading out the results and going ahead with that very wisely and very well said thoughts because I'm sure they have a lot to take back also in this competition. With that being said, it's right about time for us to find out how the points table stand at the end of two rounds. Let's start off with the boys. The boys from Isipatana College have scored themselves so far a total of 65 points. <laughs> and meanwhile, the girls from Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya have scored themselves 70 points. Well, it's a gap of around five points between the two schools, but in rounds to come, the points will progress and it's up to each one of you to make sure that you make that point table higher and higher. Okay, with that being said, it's time for us to move on to yet another very exciting round, which has also a little bit of physical activity to do, which is the third round. It's called World The Basket. Well, in round three, which is worth the basket, each of our teams gets to select three core players. The team is given a, a word that is 12 alphabets long with several of the alphabets hidden. Now, to reveal these alphabets, the three core players will then have to successfully net the ball into the basket. Each successful netting gets them 10 points and correctly guessing the word will give them 70 points, thus totaling to a final mark of 100 points. Well, those are the rules and regulations set down for round three. But first, we need to shift our attention towards the girls and ask them which number they select in order for us to find out what that word is. The girls have selected word number five. So they have selected word number five. Let's take a look. Well, we got two spaces. C, two spaces, T, two spaces, S, two spaces, and P at the end. I would like to ask the captain, who are your three co-players? Sahanya, Sandali, and Samadhi. And who is coming in first? Sahanya will be going. Sahanya, you're coming in first. What is that letter you would like to unlock? Blank before C. Blank before C. But let's ask the captain who is coming in next. Sandali will be coming for the first blank. Sandali for the first blank. Okay, Sandali, here you go. Let's ask the captain who is coming in next. Captain. Samadhi will be coming. And first. what is that letter to be unlocked? Blank after T. Okay, Samadhi, try your luck.
What is your decision? Are you going to send in another player or are you going to decide on the letter? Are you going to decide who is going in next? Captain, you need to make that decision fast. Are you going to send in another player or are you going to decide what the word is? We are sending the fourth player. Okay, and who is that? You need to make your decisions blank fast. Before T. The blank before T and who is coming in? Mutali. Mutali, come down. Well, you have minus points because you send in that extra player. What is your decision? Are you going to send your final player or are you going to decide what the word is? What is your decision? I need to know the decision fast. Mm -hmm. You need to make your decision fast. We are going to guess the word. You are going to guess the word. Okay, and what is the word? Can you spell it out for us? 10, 9. The word is dictatorship. Dictatorship, can you read out the spellings please? I-C-T-A-T-O-R-S-H-I-P Are you sure about what you just said? Dictatorship. You're not sure? You're sure? Are you sure? Just go through your paper soon and see whether that is the correct word. You, you can't change it, but you can tell me if it's right or wrong. Audience, do you think that's right? Do you think that's the correct word? You think that's the correct word? Your audience, your supporters, your schoolmates are saying that is the word. But guess and see again whether that is the right thing. Well, tension builds up. We all need to find out what that word is. Let's take a look at the word. It is dictatorship! Well, can't get second to the girls. Is that right? Yes. Is that what the team is thinking about right now? Yes. But before that, let's start off by picking what number you select to expose the word. The boys have picked word number seven. They have selected number seven. Let's take a look at the word. Two spaces I, two spaces N, two spaces R, two spaces and Y at the end. I would like to ask the captain of Isipatana College, who are your three co-players for this round? It's going to be Titiwe, Lasen and Tua. And who is coming in first? Titiwe. And what is that letter he would like unlocked? First letter. The first Blank. Well, you were not able to score the basket. Captain, who is coming in next? Lassen. And what is that letter he would like unlocked? The second letter. The second blank? Yeah. Okay, come forward. Well, seems like no one is able to get that basket right, but there is one more player who is coming in. Tuan is coming. And Tuan likes to unlock which letter? The blank after N. Sadly, not a basket. Captain, what's your decision? Are you going to send in the next player or are you going to decide what the word is? We are sending the fourth player. The fourth player, and who is that? I am coming. The captain is coming down, and what is the letter you would like unlocked? For the letter after I. Way beyond, way beyond the league, I think too much of power. Before you go there, I would like to ask you, what's your decision? Are you going to send in your final player, or are you going to decide what the word is. You have so many locked spaces. You need to make a decision soon. What's the decision? Are you going to send in someone? 
you need to make that decision for the team. You are the captain. Yes, send him. You are sending the fifth player. Okay, send him. And what is that letter he would like unlocked? What what is the letter you would like unlocked? The let blank after R. The blank after R. Okay. Sadly, the final attempt was also futile because they were not able to clinch the basket. Captain, you have no choice but to guess what the word is. The time starts 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Three and a half. Two. One. Isipatana College, Colombo. Your time's up, which means you were not able to score a point, and also you have minus points on your scoreboard. What do you think that word is? team has no idea but we all watching us right now even our audience wants to know what the word is it's time for us to take a look let's see what the word is you had any idea you had no idea at all no philosophical thinking nothing well that's how the game moves ahead but the girls are on the favoring side as they got their word right full of smiles Ten stuff faces, but things could change when we come off this commercial break. Keep it locked for more excitement. This is TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. two. Welcome back. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2 and we are back after Round 3 with the scores to tell you how both of our two teams have been faring. We have with us, of course, Isi Patana College from Colombo and of course Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya from Gaul. Let's start off with the scores for the boys' school first. In the third round, unfortunately, they were not able to guess the word and they got themselves minus 20 points, which brings their total to 45 points. And we have the girls from Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya Gaul. In the third round, they scored themselves 60 points and that brings their total to 130 points. Well, the girls are, of course, having a time of their life because they seem to be with a gigantic league. But however, the boys are with a little bit of long and sad faces. But you don't worry because you've got two more rounds to be that game changer. Right? Are you ready? Are you all stressed up? No? Are you all happy? Yes? Are you all happy? I don't even need to ask that question. <laughs> okay, right? So without much further ado, let's move on to the fourth round, which is called Target Your yes. Knowledge. Well, in our fourth round, which is Target Your Knowledge, each of our teams gets to select three core players. These players are then given a dart with which they get to target any of the colours on our spinning wheel. Each of these colours correspond to a particular subject out of which they will be asked a question. Each question answered correctly gives them 25 points. If they choose to double and answer correctly, they will get 50 points. However, if they choose to double and answer incorrectly, that will lead to negative marking. If they're not able to aim the dart onto the colour spinning wheel, and that will also lead to a disqualification. Well, those are the rules and regulations of round four, which is targeted knowledge. Now, you must be wondering, what do these colors actually represent? Well, I'm here to tell you all about it. Well, blue represents sports and games. Then we have yellow, which is art and entertainment. We have red, science and technology. Orange represents history. Green is for geography. Purple for literature. And of course, white is the Trump, where you could select any of those colors, which I just mentioned. With that being said, let's start off round four by asking the girls all the way from Gaul who their three co-players are for this round. Samadhi, Sandali and myself. 
and uh, Captain, who is the first player to come down? I am coming. The Captain steps forward. Okay, let's give it up for her. Starts in 3, 2, 1. Do you see where this is? I thought it was going to be negative points. But luckily it landed right there. Which is sports and games. You've got sports. Would you like to go in for a double? No. no. Okay, let's take a look at your image. Name this cricketer whom Wisden Magazine chose as the greatest ODI batsman of all time as well as the third greatest test batsman of all time. Your options are A. Richie Richardson B. Gordon Greenwich C. Desmond Haynes or D. Vivian Richards Well, also note that your time is ticking for you to make that quick decision. Option D. Option D. Vivian Richards. And how sure are you about this? Is that a guess or are you certain? It's a guess. Okay, let's see if this guess is lucky. They answered that they think the uh, option is D, Vivian Richards. The correct answer is D, Vivian Richards. Let's see how well the boys face this round, I would like to ask the captain, who are your three co-players? It's going to be Lassane, Vida and myself. And who's coming in first? Lassane. Lass, come forward. <laughs> Time starts in three, two, one. Yellow on yellow, it is art and entertainment. You've got arts and entertainment. Would you like to go in for a double? No, okay. Let's take a look at your image. Name that rock band which was the highest selling American band in the US history and their greatest hits 1971 to 1975 was the best selling album of the 20th century in the US. Your options are A. Beach Boys B. Rolling Stones C. Eagles or D. Scorpions Your time is ticking have to give me an answer. It's C. C. Eagles. B. You cannot change your answer. You can't change your answer. C. Eagles. Are you sure about this? Your teammate thinks to think, uh, seems to think it's B. You say C. Let's see if it's B or C, B or C. The correct answer is C. Eagles. That's the correct answer! That's how the game goes ahead. We would like to ask the girls, who's coming in next? Sandali. Sandali, calm down. Your time starts in 3, 2, 1. Yellow and yellow again, which is art and entertainment. You've got arts and entertainment. Do you want to go in for a double? No. No? no. Okay. Let's take a look at your image. Name the singer whose tribute single, Candle in the Wind, 1997, was dedicated to the late Princess Diana and sold over 33 million copies worldwide and is the best-selling single in the history of the UK and US singles charts. Your options are A. Cliff Richards B. Elton John, C. Billy Joel, or D. Rod Stewart. The time is ticking. A. 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 Cliff, Cliff Richards. Richards. You don't seem very convinced. So I'm guessing this is one of your guesses again, right? Okay, you have said the answer is A. Cliff Richards. The correct answer is B, Elton John. That was the incorrect answer. So that's how they face the round there thus far. We'd like to shift your attention to Isipatana College. Captain, who's coming in next? It's 
going to be Vidat. Vidat. Vidat, come down. Yes, you are ready. Three, two, one. It's blue. It's sports and games. Sports and games is what you've got. Do you want to go in for a double? No. Playing it safe, no problem. Let's take a look at your image. He was the first bowler to deliver a ball in a speed over 100 miles per hour. Became the first to exceed the speed of 100 miles per hour when he timed 160.45 kilometers per hour in 1975. Name him. Your options are A. Andy Roberts, B. Dennis Lilly, C. Richard Hadley, or D. Jeff Thompson. The clock is ticking. You got few more seconds Just to a go. Few more seconds. C. C. Richard Hadley. <laughs> the correct answer is D. Jeff Thompson, that was the incorrect answer. Okay, so let's see how well the final player comes down. Somebody. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Three, two, one. What is it? Yellow on yellow. Which means you have to, choose, you yeah. have to get. Is it a disqualification? No, it's another chance. Don't worry, it's not a disqualification. <laughs> Smile. Okay, here you go. You got another chance, but that chance, let's see how it works. Okay? Three, two, one. I'm sorry to say, Samadhi, it's a disqualification. But let's see how we progress in this round. Let's move on to the boys. Who is the final to come down? The captain comes down. Step forward. Three, two, one. It is green, which is your favorite, geography. Geography is what you got, green. Your lucky color, so do you want to go in for a double? Yes. Yes, they are taking that risk. It's a double indeed. Let's take a look at your image. Identify the country highlighted in red on the map. Your options are A. Poland B. Estonia C. Latvia or D. Lithuania You'll have to answer quick because it's an answer for a double. It's a double and your time is ticking. you got it's few B. more seconds. B. B. Estonia This is a double. We all know what happens when we answer a double incorrectly. There will be negative marks. How sure are you about your answer? Very sure. Very sure? You're very sure? Confidence. Okay. Confidence. <laughs> Let's see if that confidence pays off. You answered B, Estonia. The correct answer is B, Estonia. Congratulations! That's a double! 50 points right there! Finally, we are seeing some smiles on the faces of the boys from Isipatana College, Colombo. And the girls have got a little bit sad because they got a disqualification. But don't worry, that's how the game progresses. So, well, that comes to an end of the fourth round out of five. And we need to know what the results are. So, let's shift our attention to the points table. Time for us to now find out what the scores are at the end of the fourth round. And things are looking favourable for the boys because they've managed to lessen the gap between the two teams. Let's find out how the boys from Isipatana College have done for themselves in fourth round. In the fourth round, they scored themselves 75 points and that brings their total up to 120 points. Meanwhile, the girls from Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya in the fourth round scored themselves 25 points and that brings their total up to 155 points.
Well, didn't I just tell you all a little while ago that don't worry because the game could change and see from a drastic low point, you all have made it up at least surpassing the 100 mark, which is a good thing and you can smile about it. Okay, right, so we need to find out who is smart when it comes to round five, which is a very entertaining and very challenging and totally knowledge driven. It is the fifth and final round, Buzz Around. Well, in the fifth and final round, we pose 10 questions to both of our teams. Each correct answer will get them 10 points. Let's get started with question number one. Which animal is used as the logo of WWF or the World Wide Fund for Nature Organization? Vidat? Grand Panda. Panda is the correct answer. Question number two. Which acid is used to purify crude oil? Time's up. The answer is sulfuric acid. We move on to question number three. According to Forbes magazine, who is the only cricketer to feature in the world's top 100 highest earning athletes of 2017? Titira? Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin Tendulkar is the incorrect answer. Do we have the answer here? Sahanya? Virat Kohli? Virat Kohli is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number four. Name the Scottish inventor who invented the world's first fax machine between 1843 and 1846. Time's up. The correct answer is Alexander Ben. Question number five. With assets worth over $3.5 trillion, which is considered the world's richest bank at present? Time's up. The correct answer is Industrial and Commercial Bank of China. We move on to question number six. Which film won the Oscar for Best Picture at this year's Academy Awards? Sahanya? Shape of Water. Shape of Water is the correct answer. <laughs> we move on to question number seven. Name the biologist who won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1970 for saving over a billion lives in 1960s. Time's up. Time's up. The correct answer is Norman Borlaug. We move on to question number eight. According to Global Peace Index, which is the world's least peaceful country at the end of year 2017? Shweb? It's Syria. Syria is the correct answer. We move on now to question number nine. Name the second biggest motor vehicle manufacturing company of the world. Time's up. Time's up. The correct answer is Volkswagen. We move on to question number 10. What does IRA stand for in Armed Liberation Group of Ireland? Time's up. The final answer is Irish Republican Army. And that brings us to the end of round five. Well, you saw it for yourself, you heard it for yourself. That comes to an end of five very interesting rounds, but we need to find out which team takes away that title of the pentathlete or who is that contestant, all of that and much more. We, are, we will be revealing to you who the winner is comes after this short commercial break. Stay tuned, this is TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. <laughs> Welcome back. This is TV1 Pentathlon Season 2 and we are now in our final segment 
where we reveal who the champion is of this very interesting and challenging match between Isipatana College Colombo and Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya Gaul. But before we reveal the results to you, we have to find out who the pent athlete of the day is. Well, that's right. We need to find out who the pent athlete is. For that, we like to call upon one of the judges to reveal to all of us here and all of us watching us at home who the pentathlete is of this match. Who is the best among the best today? According to the overall presentation and performances, we are very much pleased to announce you the best pentathlete today. Lumini from Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya, Gaul. I think Lumini is a little bit shocked because she's not even smiling. Were you expecting that, Lumini? You, I think that was that cry, that happiness of that birthday celebration which got you to be the pentathlete. Yeah? Okay, anyway, congratulations for winning the title of pentathlete. But we need to find out who the overall winner is of this match and also who is not able to move it to the final stages of the pentathlon championship. Let's find out the results. Yes, indeed. At the end of round five, we have Isipatana College who scored themselves in the fifth round. 15 points, which brings their total to 135 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have the girls from Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya in the fifth round scoring themselves 15 points, which brings their final score to the winning score today, 170 points. <laughs> Celebration from Pentathlon as Sangamitta Balika Vidyale all the way from Gaul were able to clinch that victory. But nevertheless, hats off also to the opponents, Isipatana College Colombo, for giving that very good fight. We know it wasn't easy for you, but somehow you used your tactics to pass that 100 mark and make the gap a little bit shorter. Yeah? How do you feel? Good. You feel good about it? Never to worry because Pentathlon taking part itself is a courageous task. Okay, so with that being said, it's time for us to move on to the distribution of certificates to the pentathlete and also the team who will not be qualifying for the future games. And we would like to invite our two elite panel of judges to come forward to assist us with the distribution. Time now to honour the pentathlete of this game. We have the winner for today from Sangamitta Balika Vidyalaya. Let's put our hands together for Lumini. Well, while we congratulate Lumini for taking away the title of pentathlete, it's time for us also to recognize their opponents. Isipathana College, Colombo, I would like to ask the captain, followed by the co-players to come forward and get recognized by an elite panel of judges. Well, with the presentation coming to an end, it's right about time for us to wrap things here from Pentathlon Season 2. So we believe that if you were watching, you got yourself a lot of knowledge and excitement watching us this evening. And it's a goodbye from us all here in the studio. Thank you very much. Until next time, this is TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Just